What's going on guys? In this video we're going to be sharing with you my favorite way to basically beat the blitz from the gun tray open. The gun tray open is a very fun offense to run. It's very good against man zone. Um, it's good against match. It's really good against match because of the spacing. The spacing is what makes it so special and uh, we've been doing a series on this, on this uh, mini scheme for you. This is out of the I think it's out of the Vikings playbook. You can also get it in the Browns and the Broncos. Um, but in this video, we're talking specifically about how to beat the blitz. Now, real quick, before we go any further in the video, make sure to subscribe. We post videos every single day. If you want to get better in Madden 22, my channel will help you. I promise you that. We work so hard to be able to bring you the most up-to-date content. So if you want to get the most up-to-date content in this game, I would encourage you to click subscribe at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to do it. And um, if you want this full scheme, the scheme that we're talking about um, in this video, I left a link in the description for you to be able to sign up for our true fan membership. It's $5 a month, and every week you get a new offense, a new defense, and you get a pro player deep dive uh, where we basically break down exactly what the pros are doing and why they're doing it. So if you want to get all that, just 5 bucks, it's in the description. You can sign up down there. But let's go into today's concept, and today is stick. Now, what I love about Trey Open, why this has been good for years in Madden, is because it has – it's. It's not just a good, it doesn't just have one money play. It has a finite number of plays that will fit together well. These routes work off of one another. That's why I like this offense. So uh, let's talk about stick, okay? So there's two ways to want, I'm gonna give you two different ways to run stick in this, vi in this video. The first one is, um, is kind of a traditional way if you don't have hot route master the second one's gonna be if you need if you if you do have hot route master and you want to use it um, there's a really easy way to make it a lot more fun than what it is in this video so anyways let's just dive into it um, and it's really simple the only adjustments you want to do is we don't want R1 to cause any problems R1 is purely 100% a pull route he does not have any other purpose on this play Okay, you're never throwing to R1 unless he is wide open. So we're just going to put him on a flat. That's just so important because if he got pressed on that out route, he can mess up everything for the offense. Okay, but he's not going to get pressed on the out route. And now we're going to be able to do this. Now, I recommend if you want to really dominate with this concept, put short, short um, in elite on this guy in mud. Okay, um, but he's basically the route that we're going to hit every single time. Um, we're going to basically peak circle, then we're going to look to the hitch. Um, if that's not open, then we're going to work backside with this concept. If we see a blitz, so if we see a blitz at the snap from that left linebacker, we will start there, we'll throw to the back. If the left linebacker doesn't blitz, then we're working our three, our concept side. So our hot read is the two receivers, and then our concept side is the three receivers, okay? So I'm going to peek over here, see if there's a blitz. If there's no blitz, then I'm going to the right, okay? Right? No blitz. Okay, now I'm going to the right, and now look at what happens. Okay, the zone's set on the stick route, so we can take uh, we can take Chris Godwin wide open. Now, the reason that happened, and this is what I was talking about um, earlier, is if, if, it's a really big if, if the receiver's wide open, and only if he's wide open, then you throw him the football, okay? I don't... Um, I do not look at him first by any means. I'm looking at the stick route. Like right here, sticks open, throw it to him and move. It's not supposed to be a big play. It's supposed to be a quick hitting play. Um, and it's really good against cover three. It's it's my favorite way to deal with cover three Mabel in the entire game. Uh, this is one of my favorite concepts. And the reason why it's so much fun um, is because look at the spacing you get with this. Okay. Now, you see how that middle guy... Um, you might have noticed, and, and I'll uh, just throw it away. You might have noticed that the middle, like a vertical hook zone, a vertical hook zone can get to the stick route, but it's not easy. And it leaves you very vulnerable defensively to other things. So let me show you again. And I'm going to put this vertical hook. You see, I've got the vertical hook. Now, this is why we read this play really quick. This is why it's a quick hitting play. So now, if you watch this, if I pass like this to the right, you see how they sit into it. Those are those are because they're they're basically in breaking seam seam flat type of routes type of zones. 
So they kind of hang with this a lot better than, um, than they really should in my opinion. But if they do that, now you've got another concept. See how he pulls the zones out of the way and I can check down to the stick or I can check down to the, um, to the slam. So the zones is, is really what you're looking for. So let's say for example, which you'll get this, you'll get this as well. Um, this is another version of the same coverage. But now I'm gonna put a three red hook zone. A three red hook zone is kind of what comes stock on Mike Blitz three. It's also um, it's also the zone that most people like to use to defend other types of routes. So look at the stick route now. You see how that middle see how he plays the slant a little bit better, but he doesn't take away the he doesn't take away the stick route. So that's another reason why we like this. So again, if they give you this look, right right here. Whoops, let me get the guy on a bluff. There we go. Three red hook. Now, if you're watching this, three red hook, snap, and you're going to see that that stick route, he doesn't, nor I don't know why he's getting pressed. He doesn't normally get pressed. Um, that shouldn't be that big of a deal. They might move that guy out. Um, if they don't if they do not do anything, we could run base all day. This is actually a better way to run base than trip side in, in my opinion. It's a better formation for it. But anyways, um, so now let's say, okay, um, now let's say you get a blitz. Okay, because that's something that you're gonna get. You're gonna get. You're gonna get pressured out of this um, because you don't have a tight end. So they're gonna be like, "I'm just gonna block. You. I'm just gonna blitz you." Stick is a really good play for the blitz. Um, the reason why is you're just going bam right there, easy every time. It's super simple against the blitz. Um, there's really nothing better against the blitz than stick. The reason why is like, well, what if they blitz out of Tampa too? Okay, well, okay, you know they give you pressure out of Tampa too. And they've got that yellow hook zone. Uh, they've got a yellow over there. Now you're reading this, right? Okay, I can throw my I can throw my flat route. Not only can I throw my flat route, but if they blitz you out of cover two, um, it might look something like this. So they give you a look kind of like this right here. One other thing you can do if you want to is just simply use double hitches. The reason you can use double hitches against something like this is that yellow zone will always suck inside to the middle hitch. It's kind of a three wide receiver um, concept that you can use. The other thing that I like about this though, is if you get a Tampa two, and this is why we put that flat zone, this is why I like that flat route right there, because if you get cover two and Brady just skyballed that, but circles wide open over the top, especially, especially if they're using zone drops, um, which they probably will be, especially if they're defending this type of an offense. But because this is so familiar, similar to trips tight end, but anyways, if you look at this circle, once he's even, he's leaving, absolute laser, you're gonna kill cover two every single time. Cover two is not a sound call against stick. Um, and that's why we like to leave that route out there because if we if we put him on a, um, if we put him on an out route or something, you don't get the same, you don't get the same element um, that you would get. So when you get something like that, where, you know, this is a pretty good underneath coverage, right? I mean, it's pretty decent. Um, but it's just not going to work against this concept. Um, circle should kill this over the top every single time um, for a one-play touchdown or at least a big gain, especially if you have Gunslinger. So now let's work into some man press. What happens if they man press you? This is why I absolutely love this concept because X is not going to get jammed. He's a free release, and he's going to beat that guy to the outside every single time. So if it's man, he's going to run an out cut. If it's zone, he's going to run a little out hitch route, out and hitch settle up now if they man up uh square or not square but uh that linebacker right there if they man him up and they spread their linebackers you'll see it puts him in a decent position to press him but it's a linebacker and you've got short and elite on this guy he's gonna just quickly cut out to the outside now i might need to give him a little bit more space but um from a user perspective they absolutely have to sit over here if they're running man coverage on you and they run this concept they have to sit on the left side of the screen. They cannot come back over. And so now what you're going to get is you're going to give yourself a lot more room to be able to run. See how much room he has to get open? He's just going to run to the sideline. That's going to be an easy read against man. It's the, the one thing I would tell you is if it's best when you're running this concept, the one thing you have to understand, are they jammed or not jammed? If they're not pressing, this is an easy read. If they do not press you, this is the easiest read in football. That slot will be open every single time. If they put, if and so really where that comes back to is again we're talking about the pressure. So if you get a blitz look out of this, okay, you get a blitz look, 
you got your your back out there, you can hit that table route, do the air truck thing, get upfield easy. The other thing that you have going for you is let's say that they um, let's say that they're tired of the stick concept, so their user at the snap of the ball comes down and then he goes to the out route. Well, now look at all this field, all this grass in the middle of the field for you to be able to hit your um, for you to be able to hit your other route. So you might get something that looks like this, and and they're probably they would have to be kind of sitting over in this area to be able to get out there fast enough. So let's say you get something like that. Well, if you get something like that, then now look at that slant route, just easy money. It's gonna beat man every single time. And you've opened up a ton of space for you to be able to get this concept open. So that's the first way that I like to run the stick concept um, out of this. The one thing I would tell you is if you get this coverage right here where they're dropping everybody back, you've got like a drop, um, you know, whatever, like a drop nine type of look. The one thing that you can do um, the, the, the one thing that you can do with this is you can, um, let's see if I can get this thing open here with this motion. If I motion this guy, you see if I motion him down, you see how it moves this guy into a different position. This is just going to help a little bit with the spacing of everything, but you also see that the slant late comes wide open. Again, this is the idea that what has happened is they're only blissing two people. They're only blissing two people. So you should be in a good, a decent chance to be able to get out, out there and get separation. Now, if they're blitzing like three to four people, well, now they can't put those underneath hook zones on there to stop this hitch. So now this hitch becomes so much more of a consistent read for you. So much more of a consistent read for you, okay? Um, the other thing real quick is, again, just one little tag. If you know it's zone, if you know beyond a shadow of a doubt it's zone, run double hitches. The reason why I'm saying run double hitches is look what it does. Now you can low ball it right in front of the zone. The yellow zone will always sit on the first hitch in the formation. The yellow zone will always sit on the first hitch in the formation. So what that would look like is you would get something like that right there. And if you know it's zone like cover three, like bail, put an out route out there, that'll pull that zone out of the way. And now look, you've got two hitches that you can hit right over the middle with a slant route coming across it um, that's going to be a really consistent read. Now, if you don't like the slant route, I understand, put him on a dig. Uh, do a five, a 5 to 10 yard dig route. That will give you maybe a little bit better spacing if they're dropping back everybody. Again, you if they're blitzing you, I'd rather have a slant. But if they're dropping everybody, I might rather have a dig. So that's just, you know, that's just kind of how you feel, feel things out. Now, one other thing that I want to go over just real quick, real brief with you, is another concept that you can use and this is in the event that their user starts to get a little bit more aggressive to this outside of the field so if their user starts to get a little bit more aggressive over here on the trip side of the field this is my favorite way to deal with that um, i'm going to put the running back on a texas route i'm going to still put that flat route out there to r1 just like that but then the, the what i what that now allows me to do with the square receiver i don't have to run him on an out route i can run him on anything so if I want a curl, I can do a curl. If I want a smart route to dig, I can do that. If I want a skinny post, I can put him on anything that I want as long as it stays um, like vertical for a couple yards So or a smoke screen. So for example, you wouldn't want to put him on a drag, right? You wouldn't want to put him on a five yard dig. But a five yard out, sure. Five, a 10 yard out, sure. A 10 yard dig, sure. All of those things are options. And what you'll see here is that running back gets in such a tender spot um, it's actually better, in my opinion, than the slant route because you have to understand that the slant route is typically going to get user. This guy is their user. So if you show that there's no vertical route or there's no um, slant route coming, he might just jet this direction. And when he does, that running back's going to be wide open. So, and, and you'll see here, if it's just a stock zone, if it's just a stock zone, there's no way they're going to stop this. This is automatic every time, 50 seven to ten yards every single time the other reason i like this is this is really really good for a zone blitz so if you're getting cover three blitzed and you put that angle route out there this thing is an easy 10 to 15 yards easy easy every time um and then the other thing other reason why i like this is to give you a little bit more of a consistent read if they're running something like a, a drop coverage so let's say they're dropping people back you know they're doing something like that now what you've got is your slant, or you may throw a curl out there, okay? You may have a curl out there. Your curl beats man, your, your out route beats man, and then triangle also beats man. And it's the same basic concept that we had talked about. So 
Those are two ways that I like to run the stick concept out of tray open. It's really an underrated concept. Something I like to go to whenever um, they're just starting to kind of uh, either blitz a lot of people or play a lot of man coverage. This is a great play for that. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get the full tray open mini scheme, then you can get that guide down in the description. You can join the True Fan membership for just five bucks a month, get you access to all of that stuff. So if you want to get access to it, I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description for you to be able to join the team.